Here we are for round number three. Yeah, number three. We'll keep this hand. And I have a couple options. Already have a field of ruin. So I certainly want to get a white source with marsh flats. But I also need to cast Inquisition. Put a card on top. So I might actually play the vent first. Perfect. Then Inquisition turn two. Oh no. So we'll just go ahead and do this. Just make sure we get that down. And then we can Inquisition. Um, I think that's the only th option we have. I mean, the other option would be Field of Ruin, the Colonnade. But we would kind of want to get... So I could Field of Ruin, Inquisition, which is probably what I should do. Um, as much as I want to Field of Ruin and get a Plains, but then I'm just not using two mana. So the downside there is I can't cast Spectral or Battle Screech unless I draw another land. If I just Inquisition, leave open the other two mana then the following turn if I don't draw land I field a ruin get a plains and then I still have to wait another turn to cast those two cards so if I might as well do this because either way, I can't cast. I can get a Plains now and then next turn cast Spectral for sure. But I think I want to start casting this Inquisition. And it's going to take me two turns anyway. So I lose a guaranteed white source here, but... If I'm casting Inquisition, it's going to delay me a couple turns regardless, so... I feel like I may as well just make this play. That is the downside of the field, of course, in a deck running Spectro specifically. Uh, that's why a lot of people don't run Field of Ruin or Ghost Quarter when they're running Spectral, just to be able to have it on turn three. I just feel like being able to take out lands is such a useful tool in our deck and realistically if this game goes long we would have to deal with those colonnades anyway so now we've dealt with one we'll have a fatal push for the other that is a gorgeous land i don't know where that comes from wow so our set doesn't affect our deck very much realistically we don't draw multiple cards and we do get to attack it they'll just get to draw two spells off of it which is good enough i think to to get rid of snapcaster is annoying but it doesn't do anything for a long time this game dude those lanes are gorgeous Another Bitter Blossom's good. And we know their exact hand. So we can resolve it. For better or worse. 
I guess cryptic can tap down my team. But I'll still be able to attack a lot. Yeah, field vent is okay, I think. So the question is whether I want to path to exile my own token, and I think the answer is yes. Oh, they're going to counter this? They just bounce the token? Okay, sure. That's the same thing. Bounce, draw. Okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah, here's the downside, of course. But they're gonna need a sweeper because we're gonna build up quite the board very quickly. And it's gonna take them a while to get Snapcaster Cryptic. Well, and by a while, I mean one more turn. I will draw land at some point. Thing is, it, as much as it increases the clock, Still very vulnerable to a sweeper. All right, so also now we've gone five turns without drawing a land, which is not usually something you'd complain about, but in this exact case it is. Those lands are spectacular. I don't know where you get those online. Path, <laughs> okay. Well, Snap Cryptic, I'm assuming. Yep, tap my team. them get that back. Wait, did that counter it? Oh, wow. I assumed everything would be tapped, but tap all creatures your opponents control. It's not target opponent. Wow, so that just countered the whole spell. That is fantastic. Um, and obviously I didn't... I wanted to keep the Path to Exile for my own token, which I am going to do now. In response to Teferi. Now I don't have an answer to the colonnade, but that's okay. And turn on target. Artifact creature or enchantment, okay. So, Supreme Verdict, I assume. I 
Do need to gain some life here. Okay. So Screech doesn't do much on its own. Souls doesn't. I'm trying to think what's our best line here. Probably just spectral. And then next turn I can use one of those tokens to double cast Screech and attack for two. Okay. If they're doing that, that's a good thing. Or maybe they're just trying to draw a card, that's all I cared about. So put him or I guess I could kill Teferi, that's probably the best. Right. So I guess attacking with one creature wouldn't have done anything. Spell for Colonnade would be great. Thoughtseize is pretty good. Also risky, but oh, I can't use. Yikes. Hmm. I think at this point I attack my opponent, though. Keep one back. So I think they had a sweeper, they probably would have used it. Is there anything else I care? Thoughtsies. The thing is, hmm. I don't know what's in their hand. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and then next turn I'll have to. I kind of have to attack with a colonnade or event. I mean. They counter it, I'm okay with that too. Force of negation? Sure. Um, spell pierce. So let's just take this. Flashback souls, and then let's just do this. It's kind of all lethal anyway, so it's it's fairly irrelevant. They need to draw. They can't draw a card with Teferi. And then you draw a sweeper exactly, yeah. So 
So the question is like that last turn, should I have tried to attack with the vent? Maybe, just if they have removal and I don't gain any life, it's kind of tough. Because then I also don't get to cast Thought Seize or anything else. All right, so Brutality comes in. I think Gift comes in. I think in general I like the uh, Surgical Plan. Oriox come out. Um, we'll trim a path. Push is good for, well, Snapcaster and uh, obviously Colonnades. So, I mean, Generous Gift does kill Planeswalkers, which is pretty relevant. Like them having creatures isn't a big deal. Probably don't care for extirpate. And then I think I want all of my threats. Maybe trim a battle screech is just really against this against this opponent it's hard to like, get it rolling which kind of goes with what we were or at least what I was talking about in the um, deck tech just it's a card that I don't think four is correct I, I think if it's playable you're in the two to three range um, I'll maybe one sometimes. I will keep this. I'll decide if I want to go Inquisition or Landing first. I do want Landing to resolve, so... I mean, I want Inquisition to resolve as well, but... This will help me a bit more. Veto. Um, sphere is bad, but not the exact worst. They, I can just not commit too much to it. And I do want to resolve landing next turn. So we'll start with that. They also are like not guaranteed a third land, obviously. So many souls. Not what you want when you're facing detention sphere. To have like just all spirit tokens. Tap land would have been great there, like a vent. To fairy, okay. Yep. So the question is whether or not I gift. Well, don't have the option. I guess the real question is, do I try to drop to eight cards so I can discard Lingering Souls? But I don't think that's a real strategy. Okay. Well, that's no good. Oh. Thanks. Shoot. Or I guess push wouldn't have been able to cast it. Or uh, couldn't have pushed it anyway. Without the revolt trigger.
Well, I guess better late than never. Well, they are stuck on three lands. That's kind of nice. Um, can field push. Lingering souls will get taken out by the sphere. But I think that's fine. Okay, I'm okay with that as well. There's no revolt trigger here. I'll have to take three more damage. And then we can start double spelling. So I really just need this game to go long. Somehow they are aggroing me out. Oh, force and negation exiles, bummer. So if I feel I did need this to be an untapped land, which is very tough. Um, I guess if they field a ruin, I can fatal push the click. Which they might do on my turn. Or they'll counter this, but. Owner draw. So I'm taking five. Sorry, I'm taking three down to five, but I know I can double spell next turn. Yeah, they're starting to. Pull away here with now they have enough mana to do multiple things. Click me. No. So, flashback souls. I'll have three mana left to decide what I want to do. Could just cast lingering souls, then I have path and push. Don't think I want to field a ruin. So let's start here and see what happens. Okay, that resolves. Don't think I care to virtue yet. Cryptic. Tap my team would kill me if I just cast Lingering Souls here. Could also generous gift myself. Eh, it doesn't do much.
can just path their Vendillion click. Not casting instance is tough, so I kind of have to use my mana now. I'm just going to do this. Yeah. So cryptic, like uh, resto here, cryptic, then wins. But just pathing their click didn't seem like it did, it did much. So I could have thought of that ahead of time. So I could have field a ruin. Flashback souls. Or I should have flashback souls and I had enough to field of ruin and then fatal push. Yeah. Since I could have only used three mana that turn just to keep two tokens and get their Vendillion click out. They were still way ahead that game. They stalled a little bit, but we stalled for a lot longer. So. We'll see. We're on to game three. Now this is tempting, but way too slow. Mulligan's so bad, but Slow hand is bad too. This hand is pretty good. The bottom of the screech. So I do want to start thinking what I would like to um, surgical. Usually cryptic's a good one. Well, now Narset's good. Take them both. I guess like technically correct, I should just let them draw one first. So if they only have an opt, it's bad for us. Well, let me phrase. Cast an opt. We'll see what they draw from that opt. But if this fizzles, it's bad for us is my point. Yeah, that's bad. Um. It's pretty bad. So we take this anyway, but let's see. Two to fairies, two verdicts. Lyra's good to know, two Jace. Just the one big Teferi oust. Two Restos, Wrath. Two Force of Negation. Cryptic Factor Fission. One Sphere, three Sweepers, okay. Well, kind of at the mercy of our deck now. We got nothing else going on. Yeah, maybe I could have waited on that brutality. It's just, it's hard to know. Uh, let's 
do this. Can kind of ping them. I don't really want to let them do it in response, so we'll leave this for now. Let's do this. This does give them a chance to uh, field a ruin, but that's okay. They have to choose whether they want to do my field or the silent clearing. Yep. Um, do I care to block? Probably. I think they're just trying to get me not to flashback, but just the lingering souls lets me flashback anyway, so. Sure. So, discard spell for Teferi, I guess it has to be Thoughtseize. Would, would have been good, I guess. Let's get rid of that. Doesn't do anything. You know, they get to resolve into fairy, and we're probably dead. Yep. Ran out of gas. Sad day. Uh, it's not any better. Yeah. Six cards in hand, too. So brutal. Yep, I think we're pretty Pretty much locked out of this. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna waste anybody's time. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll be back for round number four here shortly. <laughs>